My name is Robert Abramovich, and I'm an assistant professor in the Department of Microbiology and Molecular Genetics at MSU. I started studying tuberculosis because I realized it was one of the, the grand challenges of global health. If we want to take care of the local health, the health of our community, we actually have to consider global health. Anybody who breathes is susceptible to tuberculosis. And TB can be easily spread person to person. And if we think about drug-resistant strains of TB, um, those drug-resistant strains are mostly not in the United States, but it's only an airplane ride away for those drug-resistant strains to come here. We set up a project to try to find new treatments for tuberculosis. And at this point now, we screened through greater than 890,000 compounds. We identified several really interesting compounds that might be good potential new TB therapeutics. And we have a short list of somewhere around 15 really interesting new compounds. And with the funding we have available, we're able to pursue one of those compounds. So it takes five years between each uh, lead that we pursue. With additional funding, what we could do is we could pursue these potential new avenues in parallel, right? So instead of doing one compound at a time, Maybe we can do five at a time, and that way we might uh, more quickly realize what is the right path to pursue for the research. Um, and so funding can really accelerate our ability uh, to make real progress. And the goal after uh, completing this process is to have a compound that you think is good enough to really take to a safety trial in humans, so clinical trials. So there's a slogan out there that people use in the TV world that is, TB anywhere is TB everywhere, right? If there's TB in another faraway country, it can come here to the United States. It's something we should be concerned about. I think it's very unlikely, given how big of a problem TB is, that we will eradicate it in my lifetime. Um, but if we can develop new tools, we can certainly uh, lessen the impact of the disease, and we could also hopefully slow the tide of the drug-resistant strains that are spreading. We have to find, um, you know, sort of joy and happiness even in the process of discovery. So even just finding these things, um, even if they may not lead to cures, um, the excitement of the discovery is what really drives the scientists and drives us in the lab.